Hello everybody, Nathan Earth, a Mind Test Mod Review. Today we're actually looking at a mod pack which is called Mind Test Weather. Mind Test Mod Weather, I think is the actual name of the mod pack. Um, and basically, well, first off, this is a very old mod, I should mention. Um, it's not exactly like the best, and we'll get into some of the reasons why. But, uh, Basically, you get. Which I think set weather is one word here. Set weather. Um. Well, that's odd. Why do we not have any rain? Here we go. Um. It pretty much gives you this rain, which. Yeah. Looks. Amazing. Um. And now I believe this rain messes with. Um. Uh, Mexicans. I believe, oh, this was uh, Digilines, I forget which, but I believe this rain will, uh, like, make those things disappear or something, and it may have been changed, but I remember at one point reading that the rain just wrecked all that. So we have, we have this rain here, uh, and then we can turn that off, and now it'll, uh, just at random... It'll rain, and it'll snow. It doesn't uh, actually do anything off of the clouds. And I don't know as that uh, it really matters for altitude either. It just kind of, you get it at random times. Uh, and then we have the snow, which gives little snow particles. And I guess I decided it wanted to stop snowing already. So let's turn that back on. Because the snow here, when it's actually snowing out, um, is a little interesting. Ah, hey, and here's some is. A little interesting, interesting thing I wanted to show off is that you'll actually get snow accumulation on the ground. Now this, by default, is actually not enabled. To enable it, you have to modify a file let me pull it in here uh, you have to go to the my test mod weather and then go into the weather folder and there's a snow lua file you gotta open that up and this bottom portion here will be commented out with two square brackets and then at the end two square brackets just remove the bottom two square brackets and the first two square brackets right here and it'll uncomment this section out which then gives you the snow that will accumulate. And now the snow, I believe, from what I read in the code, it has eight heights before it turns into a full snow block. So if we dig this, we don't even get anything. And once it grows up to the full eight, you will get the same pickup as you would get if you dig. Oh, uh, hey, that was actually not a block of snow. That was there was snow on top of it. You'll get the normal snow block from a full block of snow there. So those are your two, two elements that you get. Now, here's where these mods fall short. And it's, it's not really the fault of the mod as much as it is the method used to determine if snow should fall down or not. And there's really not a good way to test it just because of the the nature of how the engine works. It's not really just... What did I... Oh. I guess the snow is not buildable too. So when you play something on top of it, it will sit way up in the sky. Okay. So besides being extremely visually distracting... Let's do this. Okay. So we've got this little house here. We'll say this is our house. It stops snowing? No, it didn't. Okay. So we have, um, you know, this little safe place where we're not getting snowed on. And we can close this off some. Like that. Um, but snow kind of has fallen through. If we go into this point, it, it like checks the space above your head. So because there's air above my head, and how many other nodes up it checks, it's 
clear to the sky, it'll snow, and it snows through the wall here. Now, if I had some glass on me, which of course I don't, Oh, you know, I'd have to do I'd have to make a whole furnace. Um, it helps learn how to spell. Give me default glass. Okay, so say we have a big chunk of glass we want to put out. Now one would think, oh, glass should stop the snow from falling through. Hmm, no it doesn't. Okay, well let's... Throw some more glass up on the roof here. You know, we want to have like a little skylight. I want some natural sunlight into our little cave here. And we discover, ooh, snow is all falling through this. That is icky. Now, the reason the snow falls right through the glass is because of the coating used. The code, oh, what is sunlight propagates, I believe, is the code that is used in the node definition um, and that basically means that the sunlight can go through it well the way the snow and the rain work is if sunlight shines through the node snow and rain will go through the node so snow and rain will fall through glass block because sunlight shines through them which is annoying if you did a little sunroof on something and then you have rain or snow falling through so it is a it's a setback to it normally I wouldn't have reviewed a mod like this because that's the only thing it adds it just makes it snow and rain and then you get little snow box here nothing else um, and I honestly wasn't even planning on doing it but last week in my mind test mod review I happened to be in a snow biome it wasn't lastly goblins well whatever the point is there was snow and um yeah one of the guys watching my video commented on youtube and was like how did you get the snow and i was like well um that was just in the biome but there are some mods that add some snow stuff let me review one for you next week so i totally forget who he was but this video is entirely because he wanted it so there we go if you guys have any mods you would like me to review do not hesitate to leave a comment and let me know and i will try my best to review them for you thanks for watching and i will catch you again next week same time same channel